flooding woes continue this Wednesday evening. Governor Steve Bullock issues an executive order today declaring a state of emergency due to the rising waters. The state of emergency applies to seven Montana counties, including Ponderé, Hill, Blaine, Valley, Toole, Liberty and Petroleum counties, along with the town of Chester and the Fort Belknap Indian Reservation. The executive order authorizes availability and utilization of necessary state government services, equipment and supplies while also allowing the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to utilize sandbags and other resources available for critical infrastructure protection. Flooding has the potential to cause widespread damage, not only to fields and farmland, but also homes and buildings. You're looking uh, over the Hill County area. This evening, Liberty County is telling residents on the north side of the tracks to be aware that the dike there could breach in the next 12 hours and to evacuate or be prepared to evacuate. A long winter is turning harrowing spring for folks along the High Line. MTN's Elizabeth Transu was in Hill and Liberty counties today to see what these communities are going through. Northern parts of the state have been hit hard this past winter. There's, there's just a tremendous amount of water out there right now. With record-breaking snowfall, it's time for spring, but all that snow has to go somewhere. We started out with a drought, then we went to a fire, and then we went to extreme snowfalls with no Chinook winds, and then now we've got extreme melting and a lot of water. And here in Chester, there's only one thing left to do. Quite a bit of sandbagging yesterday, and then today, they started early today, because we just, it's, it's common. Now to give you a perspective of just how much water is overflowing Chester, here at Cottonwood Creek, between the bridge and the ground, there is normally eight feet. As you can see, the water is now up to the bridge. Uh, they're frustrated. Uh, the snow has kept them bottled up for a long time. There's roads that we have not even been on, even to plow roads, and open them up. And now we're dealing with the floodwaters and trying to, to get around. But residents are keeping positive. It's going to get worse before it gets better. Everyone's pulling together real well. Along the High Line, Elizabeth Transu, MTN News.